Hello everyone, I'm Kat from the Littlestown Library of the Adams County Library System and welcome to today's Tiny Art for Adults and Teens. Today we are going to be painting a wonderful winter. As you can see we have a pretty snow-covered branch of holly there. So that is what we're going to be painting today. Um, if you signed up for an art kit, then you will receive the following. Um, one blank 4x4 four four canvas, a tiny easel, one paintbrush, and paint pots with the following colors. White, blue, dark green, yellow, black, and red. Um, in addition to those, then I also highly recommend that you have um, something to put water in in order to clean your brush. Uh, you'll also want um, some paper towels or newspapers to put down um, so that way you don't get paint everywhere and you'll need an extra one um, to use uh, to clean and dry off your paintbrush. Um, I also recommend if you have um, like an old plastic lid or a paper plate or something like that um, to use as a paint palette to do any kind of mixing that can be very helpful as well. So, um, and if you didn't receive an art kit, then um, these materials, if you have those at home, then you can just follow along um, with the uh, instructional video. So, without further ado, let's get painting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do our background, which will be a mixture of blue and white. So uh, go ahead and get some white paint on your brush and just do a couple, just a couple little swoops across the canvas. because we're gonna need to mix this with the blue, so that's why we're putting white on a white canvas. So, and go ahead and you can get some blue and put that over there and you can just kind of, there won't be a whole lot of blue, it's mostly gonna be white. Um, if you wanna mix up some blue and white beforehand, you can certainly do that. Um, I'm gonna have this corner be a little bit darker than um, some of the other spots, but you just kind of want to make a, just make some, uh, you know, crescent swooping motions. Um, clean off your brush if you need to in order to go back to just straight white. Um, and we'll just kind of do that for a bit because we want to get sort of a wintry impression in the background. Um, so that's why we're just kind of, we might need to do a few, just a few layers, um, depending on how it turns out. But we want sort of a, just an impression of a snowy background. Um, since the focus is going to be on the holly in the front, so we just want to get some of that. But we don't want it like to be entirely like plain white. Um, because we are going to have snow on the holly so and white on white blue. isn't going to show up very well even though we do have the green. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna we do have some of the green in there so we're going to go white. ahead and... And again you can make this look however you want. If you want a lot more blue you can do that. If you only want a tiny bit of blue you can do that too. There's no um, you know, right or wrong way to do um, a background like this. Um, just remember that if you do have um, the edges of a canvas, um, make sure you get those so that way um, your, uh, your picture looks like it, it continues off on the side. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that over there. Okay, I'm a little bit more blue. 
Okay, you only need a little bit of blue in order to get a really good um, impression of snow flurries and snowflakes and all that wonderful stuff that is great to watch from, you know, your window, but you really don't want to be out in it. I'll just put a little bit of get in there. Wash off my brush, get some more white. And just, and like I said, I'm just doing these like little swoops, these little like comma wave kind of looks to it so and you see I've got some areas that are a little darker and some areas that are a little lighter and that's totally fine um, again just to kind of give it that that blustery winter background so get a little tiny bit of blue here wash off my brush and get some more white yeah, pretty much every time you get some blue, like some straight up blue, wash off your brush and then grab some white so that way you can integrate that into um, the painting there because the blue is going to really be dark and so you can, um, you want to use the white in order to ease that out a little bit so that way it's not quite as um, sharp and stark. Because again, we can't really, we're not supposed to really see anything in the, anything distinct in the background there. So, there we go. And I think I might grab a little. Mm, no, actually, I think that looks good. That looks good. So, um, now what you want to do is you want to let this dry completely. Um, it should only be a, a light amount of paint, so it shouldn't take that long, um, about, you know, five to ten minutes um, to get, let that dry completely. Um, if you layered on the paint, then it might take a little bit longer. So, we'll let that dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, once your background is completely dry, um, we're gonna go ahead and put on the holly branch. Um, we're gonna use black for this, um, cause it's not gonna really be that visible and it doesn't really, um, uh, doesn't, you're not gonna see a whole lot of it. It's just to give you an idea of where the leaves, where the holly leaves are going to attach. So just get a little bit of black on your uh, brush here and you might need to steady your canvas. Um, and then just do um, whatever kind of shape you want for the holly branch. This is just a part of a larger plant or whatever. So um, you don't need to make a whole bunch of little branches or a whole big tree or anything. I mean, if you can, if you want to, but you don't have to. So um, I'm just gonna do a basic shape kind of going down like this. And you can either make it, you know, like a straight, you know, a straight line, or you can make it a little more, you know, wiggly and branch-like. Um, doesn't really matter because it is just a, um, this is basically just a placeholder to show where, um, where the branch is so that way your your leaves and everything have something to actually attach onto. So I'm gonna let that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. That should only take that shouldn't take more than five minutes um, to dry. And then um, I want to dry it completely because I don't want to get the black mixed in with the leaves. So go ahead, let that dry. Um, shouldn't take more than five minutes, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once your branch is dry, we're gonna go on to the holly leaves. So make sure your brush is clean and get some uh, green onto your brush, some of the dark green. And um, so we're gonna put some holly leaves on here. Now, since this is a close up of the, of the holly, it's gonna be, the leaves are gonna be relatively large. Um, I'm gonna do my first one right here. So what you can do is you just kind of 
make a leaf shape. You can just kind of use the side of your brush and just do something like that. And don't worry, we will be making them look spiky. This is just the, the base um, the base layer for that, and then you can kind of go down like that. Okay. So I think I might make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so then once you've got a basic leaf shape, then go ahead and clean your brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the yellow to outline the spikes because the holly has kind of the spiky leaves. So just get a little bit of yellow on the uh, corner of your brush and we'll go ahead and we'll do the first kind of spike up here and then we need a little bit more yellow and then just kind of going down like that. This isn't the most precision brush in the world, but that's okay. And you just kind of just give it some spikes. You know, holly leaves aren't perfect or anything. So it's totally okay if it doesn't look quite, um, quite as spiky as you might want it to be. Just try to make sure that you have the same number of spikes on each side because they are relatively symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Get some more yellow. Yeah, this is another thing that might be easier if you have like a more detailed brush at home. This can be, um, that might make this a little bit easier, but, um, some of you may only have the one. See, choop, 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 choop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, more spike. There we go. Okay, and then we'll take some green and just kind of blend that in along the edges so it doesn't stand out quite so sharply. And then we'll do for the spine of the leaf, you want some yellow going right down the back here. Like that, so. And I'm going to take a little bit of, if you have your, um, your palette, you can take a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and mix those together so you have a slightly lighter um, yellowy kind of green and you can add that along the edges as well to kind of And we can always touch this up a little bit later too if you're not quite if you're not quite satisfied with how that looks we can always go back and um and add more um touch-ups later and then and then if you want a darker green then you can take a little bit of your blue and your green and mix that together touch of black and that can make more green. So you can make a darker bluish green 
to kind of go in the middle um, to kind of accent. turn out too bad there you know is it perfect nah, that's okay though because foliage doing anything close up can be a little bit more difficult than some other things so um so don't be discouraged this is just you know this is a fun little project that we're doing and um always in the early stages things tend to look a little bit odd and it's kind of like oh is this really going to turn out but you're not even done yet so all right, and plus we'll be adding snow and all those other fun things. So we'll go ahead and we'll get some more green and we're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do another leaf right here. Gonna kind of curve that a bit. And I think this one will make a little bit more curled, so. Just do that. And then we'll get some yellow. And we'll do kind of a spiky here. And a spiky there. And this one I think will put some snow. That's the one fun thing is that you can always put snow to cover up any sections that you decide you'd like don't like. Um, that'll be the really fun part when we get to that. But first we've got to plus we've got the red berries and everything. So whoops. Get some more yellow. Yeah, try to keep the yellow on the corner of your brush. So that way you can do a little bit more of a line. Um, you might also be able to do this with like toothpicks. Um, if that is something that you would prefer to work with, you can just dip it in and kind of like use it to almost draw. Um, so that's something that you can do as well if you want. So the reason why I'm putting the spike here is to try to make it look like the leaf is kind of curving. It's kind of curving forward and um, so it's kind of like that and I'll do the, the, the uh, stem vein spine just kind of coming down like this. Yeah, it's just kind of a trial and error sort of thing. I'm not very good at foliage myself. Um, haven't had much practice with it, at least the close-up stuff like this, I have, do not have as much practice with. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much just kind of like, all right, does this, this kind of looks like what it's supposed to be. And that's totally okay. Like you don't have to have it completely perfect. Um, especially since a lot of these, they look much better when you like look at them from a distance. So if you put it up on your wall, it's gonna look awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that darker green. Whoop, nope, that didn't work very well. I had too much water on my, too much water on my brush. So let me remake my dark green which again you just mix together uh, green a tiny dab of blue and a tiny dab of black to get a really to get a much darker I don't know if you can see the shade very well probably look just looks black um, but you can do that on um, the underside of the, the leaf to make it look darker since it's kind of, kind of sort of folded over, it's totally fine. 
Okay, so cleaning off my brush. There's a lot of brush cleaning here. Okay, so that's another leaf. And again, if I want to touch up later, totally can. And now I'm going to make one that's kind of out here a little bit further. I'm going to have a lot of the berries like right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put another leaf kind of out here. And this one I'm kind of already sort of shaping into the into the leaf shape into this more spiky shape so you can kind of so if, if you prefer making your leaves in this fashion you can do that as well like I said there's no there's no right or wrong way to do this it's just whatever works best for you and I'm not gonna go all the way down to attach the leaf because again this is gonna be um, the uh, berries are gonna be like right in here so a lot of that's gonna be covered up by berries and then some snow so, I'm gonna clean off the brush again. And do do do, get some yellow. I'm going to sharpen up that edge a little bit. And then. Again, I'm not getting too detailed down there because I know that's going to be whoop, covered up. So, oh, hey, I got water on my camera. Lovely. Okay, that's cleared off. All right, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my darker green and just kind of. Okay, so now I'm going to put another leaf kind of covering up some of this area, I think. So we're going to go ahead and get some green. And we're going to go like this. Spike. Spike, doop. Come on, finish duping. Ah, now that isn't a bad leaf right there. See, so that was kind of like putting it on my on the side and just going swoop, 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 but just never taking my brush off of the um off of the canvas there. And it's okay if your leaves like go off the edge, that's actually kind of nice because that shows that um, your, uh, that your picture continues off of the canvas um, and makes it look a lot more realistic, like almost like a photograph, like you're taking a snapshot. So, okay, wonderful. So we are going to, and as you can see, you can see the, um, 
the uh, stem, the stick, the, the branch um, through that, and we can always just add some more, um, add some more green over it. Um, we're gonna have enough green on there that it's not gonna matter. And if we need to, we can always touch it up, but that doesn't really matter quite honestly. So, alrighty, so we got our base green down. And we're doing a little bit of yellow. Cause they have little yellow stem vein spikes, whatever. I don't know what the technical term is for that. I'm sure there's a botanist out there somewhere who knows exactly what the little spikes on holly leaves are called and what they're for and all that fun stuff, but I am not a botanist, so that will have to remain a mystery for now. Okay, and... Again, doesn't need to be perfect, just, you know, giving you the idea of that, and then doing the spine. There we go, see, the further on the picture goes, the better it starts to look, because you're actually, you're, it's coming together more, so if in the very beginning, you know, it, you're, you're frustrated, and you're like, oh, this isn't turning out the way I want, don't despair it will get better it's just that it takes a little bit of time to build um to build it up towards where it comes i mean like if you're baking a cake you're not going to you know you know throw the flour and a couple eggs in the bowl and then look at it and be like oh that's a horrible cake because the cake isn't done yet so um i'm gonna touch this up a little bit see you can always touch up and you know so that that's what this is like it's like you know you don't need to you know don't be too hard on yourself especially in the very beginning um or if you haven't painted a lot before you know so um because every little bit every you know every time you practice you're going to get a little better and that's the important thing is to keep at it um and again as the picture builds you will see that it's getting better um, as it goes along, you know, when you just have one leaf, one or two leaves in there, it's going to look odd because you don't usually see that except like in the autumn when you have like these shriveled brown leaves on the edge. So, but as you can see, this is coming together much better. Like even in the very beginning of this, like when I just had like these two leaves, I was like, oh, that kind of looks ugly. But as I'm going along, I said, no, no, actually this is, this is coming together. All the pieces are coming together. So, hey, guess what? We're going to do another leaf. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I'm excited too. Let's do another leaf. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do, let's see, let's do the suggestion of a leaf right here. Let's kind of do, this one can be covered up by some snow. So let's just do a little, like a little thing there. We'll just kind of see the leaf from the side. On the side there so do 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 okay so there's that one whoop let me um let me make this one spike a little bit longer yeah there we go okay cool 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 there we are. Alrighty, that looks nice. So then we'll go ahead and we'll just have to do some yellow along the edges here. Um, Cause again, I'll probably put some snow on that leaf. So. But uh, we're not there quite yet. So let's get this spike done. Let's get this spike done. And again, some of this will be covered up by the holly, so that's okay. All right, so there's that one. Do 
Let's do one down here, I think. Yeah, that should be. It's a little bit awkward because my camera's right there and so I can't like, <laughs> I can't see it very well. All right, let's do, do, do. This is a little bit of a twisty leaf. And that's okay. All right, spike. Suggest a spike, suggest a spike. There we go. All righty. We're getting there, we're getting there. I know that uh, this is a lot of, it's a lot of leaves, I get that. <laughs> It takes a little while to uh, to get these guys to get these guys in, but it will look it will look really it will look really nice when it's done. I promise. So let's go ahead and get a little spiky. Mm -hmm. Little bit of spikes. And again, it's okay if the yellow like blends with the with the green a little bit. Um, you just try to keep the definition of the spikes um, if you can. Like that one kind of lost it, so I need to spike it up again. And do right along there. It's like I'm kind of, I'm trying to outline them, but also kind of merge them a little bit too. It's, Again, this would work better if I had a smaller brush, but if you guys have smaller brushes, or again, if you want to use uh, um, toothpicks or something, something that'll give you a little bit of finer control over this, go for it. Totally legit. Okay, and then I'm going to make the spine go like this. So you see how the spine, it kind of like, if the leaf is curving this way, up that way, up that way, down this way, you just wanna make sure that the spine matches um, the curve of the leaf, because that helps with the three-dimensionality and it helps, it just helps with the whole thing to look um, more like the leaves are bending and, and being shaped there. So, um, I think we will do, Let's see, I think we'll do a suggestion of one more over here. And then I think we'll I think we'll be good on leaves. So let me go ahead and this will be another one that you won't be able to see all of, but we'll just kind of again you want to make it go off the edge of your canvas. And if you have an edge to your canvas, make sure you continue. You guys have very, very narrow canvases, so it shouldn't be too much for you there. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. Again, this will be covered up by berries and by snow. And if you want to add more leaves, you are certainly welcome to do so. You do not need to, or if you want fewer leaves, you can do that too. Whatever works best for you. Um, you know, just because I did mine a certain way doesn't mean that you have to. So, um, yeah, you can, you can, you can do you. You, you do whatever, however many works for you. I know this is a lot of leaves. It takes a lot of time, and then we're gonna have to let them dry, which will also take a while, and then we have to decide whether we wanna do any touch-ups. So, alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, I think that is all, I 
think that is all the um, yeah, I think that's all the uh, all the leaves that I want to do for this particular thing. Because again, then we'll put in all the put in the holly berries in there, and then add some snow. So. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, and actually I'm gonna touch up down here, I'm gonna touch up the uh, stick a little bit more, just so it has a little bit more definition there, even though um, that might be the only part of it we actually see, or we might end up covering it up. We'll, I don't know, we'll see. So. All right, so go ahead and let that dry. Um, since we have a lot more paint on here, this will probably take 10, I'd say allow 10 minutes and see if it's dry. And if it is, then we can continue on to the next bit. All righty, so now we are ready for the holly berries, I believe. So go ahead and get some red on your paintbrush. So you want to get some red on your paintbrush and going to put some holly berries here. So do 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 I'm just gonna make a red circle. Whoop -a -doo. Whoop. My brush does not want to cooperate. There we go, there's one berry. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and make another over here. And we'll we'll add some some shadows and everything to to make them work a little bit better. But first we're just getting the berries down, and we'll probably need to do another layer. Um, because as you can see, some of the green and darker are coming through. So we will have to worry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one that's sort of half behind and half over, like it's behind this one leaf, but it's over this other leaf. And again, we'll add Snow will cover a multitude of sins, so hooray for that. Okay, and do do do. I'm gonna put another one right here. Another berry right there. Whoa, that's a big berry. It's okay. Big berries are good. suggested back there. Alrighty, woohoo. Okay, so <laughs> now we have, I know right now it looks like a giant like red lump, which is not, you know, exactly what we're going for, but that's okay because what we're going to do then is we're gonna take a tiny bit of black and mix it with the red. Please use more red than black, like a teeny tiny drip of black and then a bunch of red. 
just enough because we want to create kind of a shadow. Uh, let's see, is that, is that dark enough? Yeah, that should be, yeah, I used a tiny bit. So, okay, so then what we'll do is we'll just kind of define the edge of the berries a little bit better. There we go, so you can see the edges of the berries a little bit better. There we are, that's a little better defined. It actually looks pretty decent on my, um, in real life, um, I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up really well, but um, if you want you can add a tiny bit more black to make it a little bit darker, but use that very sparingly. Um, otherwise you might get it a little too dark and then you'll have to like paint over it and stuff. So I'm going to add a little bit more. A bit more definition there. Kind of shading the back there. So you can hopefully see a little bit better that the berries are being shaded. And again, we'll add, um, we'll be adding some snow and everything. So that will also help. Um, I kind of messed up this berry down here a little bit. So I'm going to add a teeny bit of regular red to just kind of fix that. There we go. So that shows that there's a suggestion of berries all over the place and not just like sticking out on one side. So, oh, that gives it some nice color. That makes it pop really nicely. Okay. So then I'm going to put a little bit of white. I can have some tiny highlights here. So we put a little bit of white and a little bit of red to make some pink. You don't want to put just straight white on it because otherwise um, it'll... Um, It'll get mixed, it might get mixed up with the snow and everything. So just want a little bit of red, a little bit of white to make some tiny little bits of pink. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of, uh, maybe I need a little bit more white. And just do a little doop. Maybe I just don't have enough paint, so let me just mix a little bit more there of the red and the white and get that actually onto my brush. And then just do a little again, it doesn't have to be big, just enough to kind of give the berries a little bit of glisten. There we go. All right. Ta-da! Okay. Yay! That worked out nicely. All righty. So, um, do to do. We are nearing completion here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let um everything dry completely and then we're gonna add some snow. Um, I think I am, since I'm gonna, since I'm planning on having some snow here, I'm gonna darken this up just a little bit with the blue and white. Um, just, just to make it a little bit darker so it's a little bit easier to tell that there's snow. So I'm mixing up 
a little bit here just to just to give it a little bit more definition so that way the snow doesn't just fade you know into into the background there so I just want to do a little bit like that and I don't have to cover up all that because that's going to be part of there we go because the snow is going to kind of cover this area so I don't have to keep going but I wanted to darken it up just a little bit so that way um that way the the snow will um will stand out a little bit a little bit better than it would otherwise so there we go okay cool that was the only thing that was like mm, that doesn't look quite right so okay cool so we'll let that dry completely um again about uh five ten minutes depending on how much paint you layered on there and um then we'll move on to the snow Okay, so once your painting is all dry, then we are going to uh, add the snow. So take some white and get that on your brush. And then we're going to gently pat it on. I think we'll start over here. So just kind of gently tap the side of your brush. to create the effect of snow. So, do 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 little snow piled up on a leaf. And do 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 little bit of snow piled up on a leaf. Little bit of snow piled up on the leaf. Do 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 do. Okay, cool. All right, so then we're gonna put some snow up here on this leaf. So there's some snow on on that leaf, and see what I mean, Nick? You can you can cover up a multitude of sins with this uh, by just like, oh, I'm gonna put some snow there, and uh, and just do that. So okay, I'm going to put a little bit more. Whoop. Snow there, some snow there. I'm gonna put some snow here. And there it is. that to also kind of define your berries a little bit more as well.
just a few little sprinkles of snow down here like it's lightly frosted. you want just try to keep it so it's uh so I just keep shaking there we go right. just kind of giving some of them a light light dusting sugar almost. There we go. Alrighty. So the only thing that I think I'm going to touch up is I'm going to put a little bit more dark, um, put some dark green in there to make it a little bit more of a shadow because um, I think that's a little bit um, a little bit too bright right there so I'm just gonna darken There we go. It darkens it up just a little bit. And do, do, do. Just adding a little bit, just adding a couple touch ups with the green in a few places. So. There we go. So there is your snow-covered holly for a wonderful winter. And I hope you folks enjoyed this uh, installment of our Tiny Art for Adults and Teens.